on my vlog you guys welcome to the vlog welcome back to another legally blonde vlog my name is Paloma and I'm currently playing Elle Woods in a production here in Los Angeles today our eyes are finally gonna grace upon the theater and see where all this magic is going to go down today we are moving into the theater and having our sits probe seeing our dressing room today is one of my favorite days which is sits probe where the cast and the band gets to come together for the very first time and play the entirety of the show just with the vocals and the entire orchestra together so can't wait to hear the band just play the music that we've been running with tracks right now and if you're a musical theater person you are very aware of how tough it is to be running with tracks during rehearsal it'll be like playing the track and it'll all of a sudden be like rehearsal track and it just like kills the vibe so I'm really excited to not have to hear rehearsal track and just really hear the keyboards and the guitarists and all the band play together with the cast and it's just gonna be so much magic and it's just one of those special moments that I always look forward to since it is the first day at the theater I did want to wear a special Harvard hoodie crew that I got off of Etsy this is so cute look at this it says Harvard bend and snap what like it's hard Maybe I'm just look at this look how cute this is And I also have my scrunchie that I accidentally brought home. This is one of Elle's props. And I accidentally brought it home, so I had to put it on my wrist so I do not forget to take it. Which, by the way, Elle has so many cool props that I'm hoping that once I get to the theater, I can go backstage and give you guys like a tour of the backstage and show you guys some of my favorite props. Comment below and let me know if that is something you'd be interested in, and I can make sure to get that for you guys. Oh my god, do we have a new angle unlock? Testing, testing, one, two, three. So I'm hoping right now that the audio is picking all this up and this can be a fix, you guys. This would be so elite. I'm currently heading to the El Portal Theater for the very first time. I'm not sure what parking's gonna look like, so I did give myself a little bit of buffer time. It is 10.30 in the morning and I am called till about nine o'clock tonight. So in addition to Sitzbrogue today, I am actually gonna be arriving before any of my castmates because I'm gonna be meeting up with the costume designer as well as the lovely, lovely person that I haven't met just yet, but will be assisting me with my quick changes. Basically my lifeline, so I can't wait to meet with them, connect with them and really get clear on what the quick changes look like and how fast they need to be happening. And basically just expressing my utter much gratitude that I have for this person to help me like rip my clothes on and off as the show is happening like Oh boy. I have my two drinks in hand. I've just parked and I'm about to go enter through the stage door. But before I walk into the stage door, I'm gonna go out front of the theater and see the marquee. <sighs> oh my God, my heart is beating. On the side of this, we get to see the front of the theater. Cry. All right, entering through the stage door. I'm not sure where to go, but I'm just gonna follow the pink little spots. Might have to cover her up. She's a bit haunting. Interior designers rise up. Please tell me how I can make this space elified.
But when she's standing so close to me, I think I like her plans. Oh my god! <laughs> Shut! <gasps> That's the card? I'm gonna die. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. I am starting off slow this morning. We were at the theater pretty late last night. I don't think I got home till about 10.30 and I was like already on the road before 10.30 yesterday, so yesterday ended up being about a 12 hour day. We didn't end up miking ourselves, we just had like main mics on the stage that we would come up to when it was our turn to sing, so we haven't had the whole getting mic'd up situation, but yesterday was more than I could have asked for. The theater is absolutely gorgeous. Since I got to the theater a little bit early to try some outfits on, I had the opportunity of watching the cast show up and seeing the theater and seeing their reactions just fueled my own feelings and just the energy and the vibes were so high. There was just so much love in that room and pride and we're just so excited and it couldn't be any better. Yesterday I got to explore little parts of the backstage and seeing where I'll be doing my quick changes, where my props will be, and it was just so cool to again walk through those spaces and those halls and just feel like, oh my god, we have moved into the theater. I have seen a couple of comments in some of my videos asking some questions about Legally Blonde that I did want to get answered before I head into this show because there were some very good questions and I would love to answer them all for you. One of the first questions coming through was about my hair and the blonde wig. Why don't you dye your hair? So much easier well um, <laughs> personally I think since I have such dark hair it would be actually harder for me to bleach my hair and then go blonde versus just putting my hair back and throwing on a wig I actually personally really enjoy wearing a wig because I do get so so sweaty that I feel like my hair my actual hair loses its volume versus a wig which it feels like it stays pretty intact and like can really hold the style like the waves or the straightness that it's like really trying to give which in this show I do have two separate wigs for act one I have one and at intermission I will be changing my wig into a second one that's having a different vibe I haven't seen that wig just yet so I'm not sure what it looks like but once I do see it I can show you if you also are interested and seeing that. Actually, that might be interesting to show. Maybe when I try on that next wig, I can shoot myself like putting on the wig and the process of all that because it's pretty impressive. And I do want to note that the wigs that I am using for this show are really, really nice wigs. They, You can just feel and how they feel on your head. Like they're not itchy or anything like that. Like, I have no complaints. And so I would much personally rather be wearing a wig. I think that I, even some of my castmates are like looking into wearing some wigs versus doing their hair because again, the hold. Another question under the makeup and hair umbrella is why isn't the theater providing makeup slash styling you um usually in theater it's not typical that they do your makeup just as they do in tv and film tv film and commercials because it's on camera it has to be like a specific makeup done like it has to that makeup artist has to do your makeup for tv and for this camera and for theater yes there needs to be a specific makeup but not you don't really need a makeup artist to be doing that every single night it's really like they can let you know the look and then you just do it i do believe that most actors on broadway themselves are also doing their makeup they're not having a makeup artist do their face every single night for some faces they do need that special care of like doing the detail makeup and there have been shows that I have been in including community theater where it's like you have a specific face we'll have a makeup artist like when we had Fester during Adam's family that gentleman was getting it done by our makeup artist and it just I think it's just level of what we need because I can do my full face for makeup it's just not really needed I guess and also the funds to pay someone to do our makeup every day I not really sure the theater arts are equipped for my wig. I do have someone helping me style that. They're actually gonna, as I've mentioned before, I'm not great with doing braids. And just yesterday when I was trying on my outfits, she was like, do you need me, do you need any help doing braids? Like I knew how to do French braid and everything. And I was like, 
absolutely sign me up. I would definitely love assistance with that. So there is assistance offered for like my hair and the styling of the wig and since I will be changing it at intermission and potentially on stage, there will definitely be someone there assisting me with the wig change and wig style of it all. Um, so it's, I'm getting, so most of the focus of styling and that assistance will be to the hair and the wig and I can just do my own face. All right, here's one of the biggest questions that I got asked about this show. Do you get paid to be in a show and are you getting paid to be in the show or is it just pro bono? So a couple of things because there are different types of theater, different types of contracts that also comes with non-union and union work. The project that I'm working for right now is non-union and I am not a part of the equity. I'm a part of SAG-AFTRA so I, it doesn't affect me being in a non-union production in theater, but I couldn't be in a non-union production if it was for TV and film because it would fall under the SAG category, if that makes sense. For the current project that I'm on, it is non-union, non-paid. And to get a little real with you guys, and for those of you that are not in the musical theater space, it is pretty hard to come by a contract that really is compensating you well, where it's providing housing, it's providing travel, it's really compensating you properly. This is just one of those spaces that there's just not much funding and it's so heartbreaking because it is so fueling. It feeds my soul so much. So I think that's where as actors, we justify doing the non-paid work because I, I would pay to experience this. I would pay so much money to be a part of something like this. And it's tough that we put so, so much of our effort and money and just like time into this that there's just not really so much funding in the arts. And just like me, a lot of my castmates work a day job, a nine to five, so they can then fund the theater portion of their life because there's just not much pay in it. And on the same note, I actually received a petition this morning to sign because there are 19 historic theaters at risk in downtown Los Angeles at risk of being shut down. There are so many, so many theaters here in Los Angeles got, that got shut down during COVID. And even before that, like people are always fighting to keep their buildings in these theater open. And I don't wanna speak this out to the world or even say it or give weight to it, but that's why sometimes people say it's a dying art because you know, we need to have those ticket sales. We need to have that support, like donations and the donors to these theaters are so important and really tough to see those people that and go to school for musical theater and just to spend their whole lives on it and having to really work hard to find contracts that are compensating them properly. And to the same point, this shines a light on why theater isn't accessible to everyone because it is expensive and it's so unfortunate because it feed so many of our souls. And so I really hope that you can take some time and sign the petition that I have actually put in the bio to help the theaters here in Los Angeles and hopefully give jobs to over 500,000 actors and help activate that historic district that we have there in Los Angeles of just empty, gorgeous theaters just sitting there. It honestly breaks my heart to know that there are just stunning theaters just like the one that I went to yesterday, just empty there in Los Angeles because we just don't have the funds to bring it back. And we have so many actors that are hungry to be in shows. I truly appreciate all the views and comments and likes and all of you who have subscribed. It helps me to continue to try and chase after this dream that is having a space in this theater. Hopefully the next one up we'll have a little contract and we'll have a little, a little change. Next question, where, when, show details please. Where, El Portal Theater in North Hollywood, when, June 21st through June 23rd, and on the closing show, we will have an ASL interpreted show, which I am so excited for that. Now that I've answered some of your questions, I actually do have one big question for you guys. I've been thinking about it, and that's why it's like the last minute and I still haven't done it. As you can tell, I am nude bare fingers, and I wanna get my nails on for the show, and I'm in between getting French tip, because I feel like Elle Woods would have French tip. She just would have her nails French tipped. But in the show, I get my nails done. Literally one of the lines in the show is classy lawyer pink in reference to my nails. So I'm like, should I be painting my nails pink? I don't know. Should I be doing French tip or pink? Or do we think that you can't even see them on stage? So like I'm overthinking it. Probably overthinking it. But also the people in the front row might be able to see my nails. And I'm like having a French tip and I'm like, yeah, close, classy lawyer pink. And they're clearly not even pink. But another alternative was getting French tip in pink. 
What do we think about that? Comment your honest opinion, and if you're like Paloma, don't even paint your nails. Like, what are you doing? Let me know. So let me know what I should do, and I want to thank you again for watching this video and all the kind words and the support that's coming in. I'm feeling so supported and ready and just uh, on an all-time high ready to open up this show on Friday. We are four days away, and, uh, and I will see you guys so very soon. Bye.